Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Tony Tony Chopper from One Piece. So we're going to start with the eyes. I'm going to draw two big circles on either side. So starting on the left, at the top, let's draw a circle coming down to the bottom and then back up to the top. From here I'm just going to trace a smaller circle in the inside. So coming in a little bit, just outlining and just following that outer ring. And we'll color this in black. Let's go to the right side and draw the same thing. So I'm going to leave quite a big gap in between, maybe about two eye widths apart, and start from the top and draw a circle for the outer ring. And we'll draw a smaller circle inside, like just like we did on the left for the pupil. And we'll color that in black. Now from here, I'm going to locate the nose. So in between the eyes, just, it's not going to be at the bottom edge of the eye, it's going to be slightly higher. So right here, I'm just going to draw a curve, going from left to right. And then from the sides here, I'm just going to curve in towards the middle, and then curve up towards the right side. So it's almost like an upside down triangle with rounded edges. From here, from the center here, I'm going to curve down and up to the left, going back to the starting point, curving down and up to the right. Let's draw in a little tongue. So just at the bottom here on the left, I'm going to curve down and then tuck this in underneath the right side. Now that I have that, I can actually figure out where to place the sides of the temple, the jaw, and the chin. Just because these elements inside of the face sort of help me gauge the distances between things. So on either side of the eyes, I'm going to put a point. So up here on the left, just at the top edge of the eye, I'm going to move across and draw a point. Top edge of the right eye, I'll move across and make that same width distance and draw a point. I'm going to connect those two points with a curve going up to the top of the brim of the hat. So from here, curve up, and then I'm going to come down right to that right side. From here, now I can locate the eyebrows. Just above this left eye, I'm just going to draw an angle line coming down, and on the right side, same sort of thing. From here, now I can locate the jaw. So the jaw would come down to about the same height as the tongue. So what I'm going to do is, starting on the left side here, I'm going to curve and round out the side of the face, and it's coming inwards. On the right side, we'll do the same thing, so coming inwards. Now from here, I want to round out the jaw, coming down to the chin. So now that I have the tongue here, I know that the chin is going to be quite short. So right about here, I'm going to start on the left side, I'm going to curve, round out the chin, and curve up towards the right side. From here, let's draw in the hat. So the bottom edge of the hat, and that's going to start at the bottom edge of these, the, the jaws, the corners of the jaw. So from here, I'm going to curve around, come up to about here, back around to the right side. So starting on the jaw line on the left, I'm going to curve out, and then I'm going to come up, and then I'm just going to mirror this on the right side. So coming back, going back to that jaw line, just like so. From here, let's draw in the height of the brim of the hat. So from the ends here, I'm just going to pull the line straight up. So from this point, going up with a slight angle. It's not going to be straight up, slightly angled this way. So right about here. And this is going to determine how long that line is. It's going to determine how thick the brim is going to be. So I want to make it quite thick. So from here, I'm just going to come in. From, from here, I'm going to connect those two points with a curve. And I want to try to make this as even as possible all the way around. Coming up, and then back down on the right side, just close off that gap. From here we're going to go up to the top of the hat, but along the way there's these big antlers that stick out. So, if I look at the sides of the head, I'm going to go up, so on the left side I'll go straight up. Here I want to draw a short little line, so right here, going straight up like that. On the side here, I'm going to line this up, and draw a short little line on the right side. From here I'm going to draw in the socket for the antlers. So on this side, I'm going to draw a backward C. On this side, I'm going to draw a forward C. From here, let's start on the left side, let's draw the antler on this side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the bottom, and basically this is going to curve and round out to the base of the antler. So i got that part there first. Now we're going to pull out the first antler. So from this point, I'm going to go out, go up, and then round this out. Now I'm going to come straight down and just curve. So there's even thickness on that first antler. 
I'm going to go up here and do a series of overlaps. So I'm doing round, and I'm just basically going to mirror this up here. Come down and just curve it in. I'm going to do that one more time. So I'm stepping up a little bit higher. So you can see that one, two, three, they're kind of going up in an angle this way. And I come down and then curve in just a little bit longer than these two lines. From here, I'm going to overlap the opposite side. So it's almost like this. So from here, I'm going to step down and curve up. And then I'm going to round out this. So it's basically taking these and flipping them over this way. Come straight down and then just curve it in. From here, I'm going to start at the top again, do an overlap. Curving around. Now this, I'm going to curve down to here. Curving down. And I'm going to round it in. Now I want to keep that little gap in the middle here. Because I'm going to take this point and curve it to the top of that socket. Just take that and draw the exact same thing on this side. So starting with the base, I'm going to curve up. From here, let's draw on that first antler. So curving around, going up to the top. We're going to round out the first antler and come down and curve it in. Go to the top corner here, do an overlap. So rounding up the top, coming straight down and then just bending it in. Again, one last time, curving around, curving down and then in with a slightly longer line. Now we're going to do the overlap from here, curving up, rounding out, and we'll come down. Like that. Going back up to the top for the final one, so rounding out the top, and bring this down and into about here, leaving that gap here, and I'm just going to close that gap with a curve. Okay, so we've got two sets of antlers. Let's finish off the hat. So from this point, this line going up, I'm going to go behind the antler and continue going up behind, going straight up like this. Now the hat's going to disappear behind these antlers, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show the top of the hat, starting from here, curving up in the middle and then down on the right side. Let's draw the X symbol in the middle of the hat. So in the middle here, I'm just gonna come up just slightly above center between here, draw a point. From this side, I'm gonna go up in an angle, then I'll go up towards the right. Now from these ends, I'm just gonna round out the ends and then come down in an angle like this. Now from here, we're just basically going to take that and mirror it over. So from here, coming down, down, rounding out the ends, and then going up, and then down. Okay, so we got the symbol there. Let's finish this off with the body. So he wears a cape, so I'm going to put a little knot in the middle of the chin. So just below the chin, I'm going to draw a circle, just like that. From here, I'm going to come down to the side of the circle, and curve out one side, and I'm going to do the opposite, going up and underneath. From here, I'm going to start in the middle, I'm going to do a little curve like that, just to show a little bit of wrinkle in the knot. From here, I'm going to do the same thing, but flipped over. So curving down, and then up here, I'll curve in the opposite direction. I'm going to just draw a little knot curl, just like that. Okay, so the arms, we're going to draw the arms coming down towards the little hands. So just under this chin, I'm just going to move over from the knot, curve down towards the hand. Now the hand's almost like a disc, but there's a little wedge cut out of it. So from here, I'm going to draw sort of like a half circle this way. And I'm just going to draw a little V, upside down V like that. And then continue the hand on the opposite side. So it's almost like flipping it over like this. From here, I'm just going to draw a little curve and just kind of finish it off like that. From this wrist, I'm just going to curve that right in behind that knot. From here, let's do the hand. So up here, on the one side, I'm going to curve and round out the hand like that. On this side, on this corner here, I'm just going to draw a little bit of perspective, drawing a little wedge point there. Let's take that arm and flip it over on this side. So starting at the same point on the height, I want to come down to the same height on the wrist. So you see that I'm using my opposite hand to sort of gauge distances all the time. So from here, now I want to come down to the hand. I round out the one side, go up with an upside down V, and then round out the opposite side of the arm and curve up. From this point, I want to curve in just like I did here into the wrist, just to show the cape wrapped around the arms. Now for the hands, I'm just going to draw a curve like this and then a wedge. Now, because the belly is quite big 
and round it. I'm not going to show the sides of the hips. So from here, I'm going to draw the top of the pant. So curving around like this. Now let's draw the sides of the pant. From underneath this hand, I'm going to curve down towards the bottom of the short. So right about here on both sides, making sure they're even length. From here, I'm going to go straight across the bottom, leaving a gap in the middle, straight across the right side. Now from here, I'm going to go up in two short angles coming in towards each other. From here, I'm just going to draw a line, sort of overlapping those two lines there. Let's draw on the legs. So he's got some really narrow and thin legs that come down. So from here in the middle, just right of center, I'm just going to come across like this. From here, I'm going to go straight across the bottom, and then I'm going to round out the top of the foot. So curving down like this, and then you see it, there's a little gap here. I'm just going to go straight up in an angle like that, just to create the leg. From up here on top of the foot, I'm going to draw a curve and then I'm going to split it with a little curve around like that. Let's take that and draw the opposite side here. So up here, I'm going to draw an angle line coming down to the heel, going across to the front of the foot, making sure that they're the same length, rounding out the top of the foot, leaving a little gap here, going up in an angle, and I'm going to draw the top of the foot. So right here, the hoof, splitting the toe. Final part is the cape. So this cape's coming down this way. So I'm going to imagine this curve coming behind the hand and then down on the side. This one come down on the side. We just want to show a little bit of a wave. From here, I'm going to curve up, then down and behind that foot. Here I'll go up, and down, and start to flatten out. Here, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. And if you'd like, you could add a little bit of the markings along the body. So along here, there's these little tiny marks that go across, kind of that signature look in one piece. Just go all the way around like this. There's a couple on the chin here, like that, a couple on the belly. Kind of indicates a little bit of fur. Uh, let's draw some up here, up here like that. Some in the hat here. I'm just drawing little tiny hash lines, like in groups of two and one, a couple inside here along the edge, and you can show some coming up from the bottom edge of this line. Kind of makes it look, it sort of carries over. And one final bit I don't want to forget about are the ears that kind of poke in behind the hat. So up here in this corner, I'm going to go up a little bit and draw a curve going down towards the left, and then I'm going to curve down and behind the brim of that hat. From this corner here, I'm just going to draw a curve, just for the inside of the ear. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So from this corner, I'm going to move over, Draw a curve, going to the tip of the ear, and then curving back, and then from this corner, just drawing a little curve like that, and there we have it. There's Tony Tony Chopper from One Piece. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like, and make sure you check out our anime playlist. I have a ton of characters in there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.